Good day, folks. Today we're going to be looking at the card game Electoral College Combat from Doll TV. Let's check it out. Um, you're going to have a deck of cards here that are going to have the states uh, from the U.S. on here with all of their electoral votes on here. Montana's got three. California, of course, is the biggest one that's got 55. Utah's got six, etc. And now the object of the game is you're going to try to get the most amount of electoral votes and win the presidency. And to win it, you're going to need 270 or higher. So basically, here's how the game goes. Player one is going to go ahead and lay out five cards in front of him like this. And then his opponent is going to go ahead and choose one. So let's say he chooses this. The card gets flipped over and it, is now, it says North Carolina 15. Now it is going to go ahead and go to the player on this side. So he decides he's going to pick a card and he picks California, which is 55. Now the person that picks the higher number in the electoral votes is going to have a choice. He will either be able to take the card that has the higher electoral vote number and one other card or he can take the card with the lower count and then two other cards so what he decides to do is he's going to go ahead and take this card which is Missouri so that's going to be worth 65 and then the other player will go ahead and pick up his two and he's got 12 more points along with his 15. That'll be my turn to put out five cards and so I'll do that and so the player on this side is going to go ahead and pick he says let's pick this one so he picks a card and it says Iowa with six I'll pick one and it is main with four. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna pick the lower card and then two others because this one's not much higher. So I'll pick this one and then I'll pick this one and these will be my cards and my opponent will go ahead and pick up these two cards right over here. Now let's say something like this happened we ended up tying. If there is a tie, the opponent's gonna go ahead and turn over a card and let's just say he picks up a 20. Now since it was the higher card, He's going to go ahead and take this card and uh, one other card. He can pick any one of them. So let's just say he picks this one. Now let's say my opponent ended up picking up this card and it had a lower value. In this case, he's going to go ahead and take this card and the two that are face down like so and then put it into his pile. Now if it turns out to be the same value, the opponent is going to go ahead and just pick up the three face up cards. Now we come to the wild cards in the game and we have five. There's fake news, there's the celebrity endorsement, there's Russian collusion, there's the recount, and then there is the swing state. Now these cards are only going to be activated when you're choosing a card to flip up. If you end up getting this card after the card has been flipped up, it's not going to count. So we'll go ahead and start with the first card. Let's say I flip this over and I have flipped over the swing state. So now what's going to happen is that me and my opponent are going to flip over a card and if the total of all the exposed cards are even, I will win the cards. If it's not, then my opponent will win the cards. So let's go ahead and say I flip it. This one, it's five. My opponent flips one over and it turns out to be 29. That's 34. So I will end up getting all of the cards. Now let's say I pick and I end up picking up the fake news card. With the fake news card, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and flip over a card. And I flipped over Vermont. And now I'm going to decide whether the next card is going to be higher, lower, or equal to it. If I'm right, I will keep both cards. So let's say I say higher and I am right. So I'm going to go ahead and keep both of the cards. And now I'm going to do those cards the same way. Let's flip this over. I've got eight. Let's say I decide it's going to be lower. And it turns out it's not. In this case, my opponent is going to win it. So let's say I flipped over the celebrity endorsement card or someone flipped it over. I'm going to flip over all the cards and I'm going to win the lowest card and the opponent is going to win the rest. So that's an ugly card. Okay, so let's say Russian collusion gets flipped up. What's going to happen here is you and your opponent are going to play rock, paper, scissors. And whoever wins rock, paper, scissors is going to get to choose a card. And you're going to play all the cards like this. So rock, paper, scissors, me, bam. Rock, paper, scissors, my opponent, bam, I win. I'll pick this card. Okay, I got Tennessee. And you're going to do the same with all the rest of the cards. So let's say I go and I flipped over the recount. With the recount, each player is going to flip over a card. The lower card is going to win all the cards in the hand. If there's a tie, you're going to turn over one more card. If it's even, then you'll win the hand. If it's odd, the opponent will win the hand. So, ballot. I'll flip that. That's a six. My opponent flips that. That's a seven. So I will win all of the cards. Now, in the very end of the game, each player is going to have three cards. What he's going to do, he's going to pick out the state that has the highest electoral count and the lowest electoral count, and he's going to go ahead and put them over here. And then you'll go ahead and play as you normally would. And then after that, everybody is going to go ahead and count up all of their cards. Here, of course, is the card that has all the electoral values of each state on there. And you're going to go ahead and count up your points. And whoever has more than 270 points is going to win the game. And that, folks, is Electoral College Combat. So my final thoughts on Electoral College Combat. 
Well, this game is not hard to learn. It's real easy. And if you like games like War, you're going to like this game, I think. It's much more advanced than War. And you've got a little bit of decision-making to do when it comes to the cards. And there's definitely a luck factor involved as well. Um, the different wild cards certainly will spruce the game up a little bit. The <laughs> I like the names of them. Celebrity Endorsement, Russia Collusion. Pretty cool. But uh, anyway, this is a light game. And uh, if you like light games that are fast... And uh, I think you're going to like this game. Now, you're definitely going to need a calculator when you're tallying up the points, unless you're really good with math. But really, you only need to count up one person's score. And if it's below 270 or above 270, then you're going to know who's going to win. Uh, this game does not cost much. I believe I've seen it online for $6 or so. Um, and again, it plays fast, and it's not meant to be taken seriously at all. But anyway, guys, this is Electoral College Combat. Y'all take care. Keep on gaming.